Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is the Coach Jess, as y'all know from the title. And I have it in the quilted black um, leather. So basically, this is the exterior. You have, you know, your coach tag here. You also have your coach emblem here. And then it's just kind of bare on the sides here. On the back, you have the quilted leather as well. What you don't have and what I would prefer is um, the back pocket, the slip pocket for like your cell phone, chapstick, whatever. Um, they opted not to put one here. I don't understand why because I do have two other just styles here and you can see that they both have the back pocket. These are the um, signature canvas prints. I really do love this print here. It's such a beautiful, beautiful print. But um, I'm returning these for reasons that I'll explain in a little bit. But um, back to this one. So with the Jess, you get two uh, large compartments here. So like twin compartments front and back. On the bottom, there are no feet, which kind of sucks, but um, not that big of a deal. I would have appreciated some feet just to keep the bottom safe, but um, it's all good. So completely empty. You guys can see what it looks like. There is like a thin piece of cloth keeping it separated. The section separated in the middle here. And then um, I'll talk about this chain. So one of the things that I really appreciate about a bag is when it's kind of versatile and how you can pick it up, right? So and so what I mean is like when I'm getting out of the car, I don't want to just hold it like this because then it's like dragging on the ground. So I have a shorter strap here that can help me lift it up easily, help me transport it easily, put it in the cart, whatever. I ordered this strap on Amazon, it came in a two pack. So really cute strap to just throw on here. And it's a cute little accent for the bag is the one thing about it that I don't like is this part here. Like you see how what they did was they looped the little leather strap through the gold chain and then looped it back up to secure it. So the excess just kind of sticks out. I could cut it, but I'm not going to because I feel like if I do, then it's just gonna come out from right here. Um, so that it's like that on both sides, but that's okay. Nobody's really looking at that and nobody's gonna see it, but it just adds a cute little way to kind of carry the bag. Crossbody, that's how it looks as a crossbody. I tend to keep mine like back here. I'm not really like a front crossbody person. I like to have it hanging in the back, therefore it's like out of the way. I do have the strap kind of high. I'll show you guys. I think this is the shortest it'll go. Yeah. So let me show you the longest. I'm 5'5". Five five, so that, that dropped it down significantly. And there you have it. What it looks like. So really cute, really fun purse. What I really like about it is, you know, this shape. This pattern, the, um, I always want to say tufted, but quilted. The quilted leather mixed with the black and gold um, gives it that like luxurious, rich vibe, right? But then what I like about the Jess is it's in a shape that is like more universal for different outfits. You know, you can wear these with some leggings and tennis shoes or some jeans and tennis shoes and just a t-shirt or you know it, you can wear it with a dress like because it just looks nice but it has that sporty vibe to it that um really just sets it off and we'll go ahead and go into the first one so my wallet clorox wipes of course hand sanitizer of course and I also have in here a pair of latex gloves for like the gas station and if I go shopping and just don't want to touch things. I have this little key, this little door opener here, my car keys, house keys in here as well. And then I have my favorite chapstick of all time. I absolutely love Dr. Bronner's peppermint chapstick. So that's the front pocket. There is no other pocket in here so it's just one big open space and then the lining in here black lining um it's nothing fancy and then in the back here so this one you do have that little pocket in the back it doesn't have a zipper or anything it's just a smaller open pocket 
I also have um, two little crystals that I keep with me. I have a charger for my iPhone, portable charger. Definitely adds some weight to the purse, but I definitely have to carry this with me all the time when I'm out running errands because I have an iPhone X and the phone tends to die a lot faster nowadays. Um, some lotion, just some Trader Joe's rose oil lotion that I keep for my dry hands. And then a mask from Old Navy. I really do love these Old Navy masks because they're comfortable and they're adjustable. They have the little things here on the back and it comes in a three pack with different designs, but this is just one that I keep in here. Can't tell you guys how many times I've gotten in my car and I haven't had a mask and I was like, okay, I need to start keeping one in my bag. And then a pin. I always keep pins that have um, a top on them never the push retractable ones in a purse with liner other than black um if your pen starts to leak or spill the ink just gets everywhere and it damages your purse and brings the value down if you ever want to resell so something to know and here is the khaki one for anyone who wanted to kind of see this one up close this is leather it's not um fabric so leather all around very very beautiful colors I feel like this would look good in the summer with jeans too. What I was going to say about why I'm returning um, this one as well as this one here. This one's so beautiful. I love it so much. I love this like color combination with the gold hardware. It's just really beautiful. But um, unfortunately, I am going to take these back because what I realized in carrying this one, this might be a nitpicky thing, <laughs> but um, reaching in and out of it, the zippers can become irritating. You know, like going like this constantly, like already I'm starting to feel like my skin is just irritating, irritated. Just one of those little things, like it may not bother some people, but it's something that I realized and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll just return these other two and, you know, get that same um pattern or color in a different style my sister actually has a um i think it's a kate spade bag that she has her zippers are actually a lot rougher and so when she reaches in her hands actually get scratched and you can see like the ash on her hands from it so um just something to note something that you know un something to think about if you're pondering whether or not you should pick this one up but other than that i do love it it's a simple bag that i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of use out of and um it can match with a bunch of different things so that's pretty much it i did order the claire and the marley so i'm gonna be posting reviews on those as well so if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel please consider doing so um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>